All right, welcome to the basic math instruction video. In this video, what we're gonna do is just show you guys how to use like basic math, like adding, subtracting, multiplication, and some division, okay? So to find these instructions, we're just gonna go over on our little work tab here, and you can see compute math, okay? Again, I'm just gonna show you guys these first four. If you decide you wanna get into like square roots or uh, some of this other stuff here, you definitely should look into the book and learn more about them. I don't know what the, if there's gonna be a great need for some of these ones. When we get into later uh, classes, we're probably gonna use a different PLC that actually has some more uh, instructions up here that you can actually make your own instructions. You can, uh, there's gonna be scaling instructions. There's gonna be some really good math instructions, okay? that we'll show you how to use later on, okay? But for right now, we're just gonna be working with these four. Now, I'm gonna take, the, we'll just use the add to begin with. And I'm not gonna show you every one of these things because they're pretty much operate the same way, except they do a different math function, okay? Now, notice that it is on the right side in our program instead of the left side. Pretty much all of these math instructions are just going to compute numbers. You're never going to get a done bit or a true rung, like the compare gives you that true rung or something like that. You're going, it's just going to manipulate the numbers, okay? So we're going to be putting it into an N7 and we're going to be adding them together, subtracting, multiplica multiplying, and then we're going to be moving those around. It is never going to give you a done bit. That's where, that's how you would kind of use those compare uh, instructions is you would have an add and then when it gets compared to a number it would give you that information you wanted to get you that done bit all right I hope that makes sense and that's how you would use those now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna pull up my n7 file and what we're gonna do is I think we need to add some more properties to this let me see if I remember oh yeah right here um, elements and I'm just gonna do like 15 of them okay all right, so that's just, all it did was it gave me a bunch more numbers to work with because um, in the next lab, you're going to be doing a massive math instruction pretty much. You're going to be using all of the different uh, math instructions, so you're going to need a lot more N7s, okay? So we're going to go ahead and just exit out of this, and the first one, I'm just going to put N7 colon zero, enter, Okay, and then it's gonna add source A to source B. So source B will be N7 colon one, just like that. And then the destination, we'll put it in N7. Oops, I need to put the N there. N7 colon three, how's that? So all we're gonna do is we're gonna add this one to this one and it's gonna be put into this one when I press this blue button. You do not always need an true instruction in front of these uh, math instructions, meaning I could just leave out this and every as soon as something comes in n7 it will be added to n71 and move to the destination all right does that make sense that it it could always be running and doesn't need to have a condition on it so let's go ahead and we'll go into my uh instructions or my n7s i'm gonna put just a seven here let's see if it'll let me put a seven enter and we'll put a 10 okay we'll go ahead and shut this let's go ahead and download All right, so if I've done everything correct, I'm gonna press my blue button and it's going to add and move everything into my N7. Ooh, it looks like I put it into three, that's interesting. So I'm gonna press this and it moves into 17 here. 17 gets moved into that N73 spot. Pretty basic, they're all the same. They're all going to do something like this. Is it possible for you to take a counter and do an accumulation as one of the sources? Absolutely. Um, is it possible for you to take the accumulation from a timer and put it in here? Absolutely. Is it possible for you to take a analog input that has a number and put it in here as your source A? Yeah, absolutely. In fact, we will probably be doing that later in this class. So what I guess we could do next is if I, and I just wanna show you this, go offline. We can have multiple rungs and we can keep adding things in it, like let's say I wanted to go in here and I wanted to have this number that I just got, this 17 probably, come out and I want to multiply it by 10. So we're gonna take, I'm gonna put N7 colon, let's see, three. So it's gonna take that 17 number and I want to multiply it by 
let's say seven. I can do that. I can just put in a manual number like this. I, this one was more difficult, I think, because you cannot change this while the program is running, and I will show you that. So as soon as a number gets put into N73, it's going to immediately be multiplied, okay? So let's go ahead and download. Oh, program is an error, huh? Let's check what our error is. Operating, operating not entered. Let's try. Let's just go to... Oh, uh, okay. So we needed a destination. <laughs> Sorry. So let's put the destination in N7 colon 4, just like that. And now let's see if it'll work. Awesome. Okay. All right. So right now, if I pull up my integers, we should have notice it's reset. When I press my blue button, it's going to immediately add this up to 17, and then it's going to multiply that number by seven, and it will be put into our four, okay? Our N74. So you see it's 119 is now what we have, okay? And it just immediately did this. Um, so something to be aware of, it is a possibility, and you can just keep taking that number and keep rolling it into ne the next multiplication or the next add instruction, or you can put a button on each one of these. In fact, that's what we will do in the next activity. So go ahead and move on. If you guys have any questions about math instructions, uh, I'd be more than willing to help you. They are really simple once you understand the concept of it's never going to give you that that uh, true bit or it's never going to give you the done bits or the anything like that. It's just moving the numbers around. All right. So go ahead and move on. Let me know how I can help.